What if I told you there was a way you could add 30 yards to your driver with almost zero effort? That probably sounds too good to be true, but I'm gonna share with you a simple tip that was used by the world's greatest golfer and is still used today by golfers all over the world looking to increase their distance, maximize their range of motion, and relieve stress and strain on their body to prevent injury. Jack Nicholas knew this secret and he used it to great effect in his swing. I'm gonna show you exactly how you can benefit from this too to take years off your swing and add yards to your drives. So what is this simple tip? It's the way you tilt and turn your neck in the backswing. Nicholas did this as he was about to start the swing to the point where he would actually turn and tilt his head to the left before he started the swing. And by the time he pulled the trigger, he had his head turned and tilted so that he was looking at the golf ball much more out of his left eye. And what Nicholas was doing was utilizing the way the body is built and building in this eye position on this neck tilt that you want to have at the top of the backswing, he was building that in at setup. So he would turn his head to the right and tilt it to the left so that the left eye was closer to the golf ball than the right eye. And then from there, all he had to do was turn to the top. And what this allowed him to do was increase his range of motion turn further effectively. And what that's gonna do for you is increase your potential power, the distance you're able to hit the ball. And if you move your body in this way, you're moving it in the way that it was designed, therefore taking excessive stress off your joints. You'll be amazed how much further you can swing when you learn to turn and tilt your head correctly in the backswing than you're currently able to do. What I typically see people struggling with is the idea of keeping their eyes and head so still and so fixed on the ball that as they move back, there's no rotation in the neck, there's no turning of the neck at all and the head stays fixed looking down at the golf ball. The problem with that is that it limits your range of motion. I can only go back so far before something has to give. I either stop my swing here, which makes it too short to create any power, or I have to start bending my arms and flexing my wrists too much to make the swing longer, but at the expense of the quality and the delivery of the club, the, the quality of the ball striking reduces because I'm having to flex my arms and bend my wrists in order to lengthen my swing. I'm almost effectively putting myself in a cast. I can't move, I'm fixed and stuck. And then from here, golfers get into all sorts of problems trying to hit the ball. It also adds more stress and strain to your joints, putting them under excessive pressure to move through a range that they're not comfortable to do. And that's usually then expressed by you complaining, you're not flexible enough to play golf, you're not fit enough to play golf. And I promise you, I see nothing but the contrary. 99% of you watching this video are flexible enough to play golf. You just don't know how to move correctly. This tip is so simple and the return on effort is enormous. Simply learning to turn your head to the right and tilt your neck to the left as you swing back will allow you to turn many more degrees in the backswing and make a backswing that makes you feel like you're maybe 20 or 30 years younger. We can add 20, 30 or even 40 yards to your tee shots just by using this simple trick. Here's a real life example from a lesson I did this week here at Golf Tech in Singapore. This golfer complaining and struggling with their body, very sore after they play, really not getting much rotation at all. If you take a look at the setup, you're gonna see that on the left hand side, the head's in that very kind of standard or neutral condition. And that in itself isn't a problem, but as the golfer swung to the top, you'll see that rather than turning the head and tilting it as we described, if anything, the head rotates the opposite direction. This massively limits the range of motion in the golfer's backswing. You get to the top, we've only had 70 degrees of shoulder turn and 22 degrees of hip turn. That's a significantly limiting backswing because the head has turned in the wrong direction. If you take a look at that line, the red line I've drawn there on the eye line, you'll notice that the, it's the right eye that's actually closer to the ball than the left. That's the complete opposite of what we're describing and what we're prescribing. Take a look at the right hand picture. 
we've got the head slightly turned and tilted to the left at setup, similar to the Jack Nicholas move that we talked about. And then as the golfer turns into the backswing, that head turns and tilts to the left. So the eyes are now correctly aligned as so, similar to how they were at setup. So we've preset that line and we've got the left eye closer to the ball. That's increased this golfer's range of motion significantly. We're now at 89 degrees of shoulder turn and 50 degrees of hip turn. He was able to hit this seven iron 191 yards. That was an increase of over 20 yards on the standard shot that he would get from his other swing. But more importantly than that, this swing was effortless. It felt easy to do, extra power, maximum distance, increased range of motion, and yet no effort no effort at all this was easy to do once he understood how to turn his head and how that allowed his body to move how it's designed so don't give up if you're struggling with limited mobility you think it's because you're not flexible enough i promise you 99 times out of 100 it's nothing to do with not being flexible enough it's almost always to do with not understanding how to move your body correctly so there's an example of how this works every single day in the lesson bay at Golf Tech, helping golfers move through their true range of motion and helping them to maximize their distance potential. Let's do the same for you now. You've got two choices. You can either learn to turn your head as you swing, which would be starting with a more conventional, neutral head position at setup where my eyes are fairly level. And then as I swing back, you're gonna see how at the top of my swing, my eyes are now more tilted to the ground. Okay, the left eye is closer to the ball than the right eye, that's correct. That's allowing me to turn through a greater range of motion and make my backswing longer. If you find that difficult to coordinate, and some of you will, I know particularly people who are right eye dominant often find that as they swing back, they actually their head wants to move this up opposite way, which as you can see is extremely restricting, you can utilize the trick that the greatest of all time used. Jack Nicholas preset his head position at setup into the position that he wanted it to be at the top of the swing. He took care of it at the beginning of his swing so he didn't have to think about it during the backswing. So he took his head, he turned it to the right and tilted it to the left. So he's really looking at the golf ball out of his left eye and he made that preset position at setup, looking at the golf ball with the head already in the position he wanted it to be at the top. Now all he had to do was execute his backswing and his head was already in the position he wanted it to be. Up we go, perfect. There's no change in my head position between setup and top of the backswing when I utilize this trick because my head's already where I need it to be. Now I can just turn my body, it's very, very easy. This is effortless, effortless power. My body is under no stress or strain at all. Contrary to the opposite way where immediately I feel like I'm limited in terms of how far back I can go. So you have a couple of choices. You learn to move your head through this range of motion during the backswing. You turn and tilt your head as you swing. Or if you find that too complicated and difficult to do, just do what Jack Nicholas did. Preset the head into the position you want it at the top. And go ahead and make your backswing. This really is an effortless way to make a backswing and such a simple tip to boot. So many times you'll be asked to make changes in your swing that are somewhat difficult and complicated and require a lot of work on your part. This is simple. Turn your head to the right, tilt your neck to the left, look at the golf ball out of your left eye and just go ahead and see how much more range of motion you have all of a sudden. We are gonna take years off of your golf swing and add yards to your driver. This also works for every other club in your bag as well, but you're generally gonna see the greatest benefit in the big stick. And who doesn't wanna hit it 20, 30, or even 50 yards further off the tee? Now that you're aware of the head turn in the backswing, which you maybe didn't understand before, you'll see this pretty much everywhere you look. The best golfers in the world are utilizing this trick to this day to help them move their body through a full range of motion, allowing them to hit the ball as far as they possibly can. 
What's also interesting is that the shortest hitters will tend to not turn their head very much. I've got examples here of Dustin Johnson, Rory McIlroy and Victor Hovland, all long hitters who turn their head and tilt their neck at the top of their backswing. And you can see that by the line on their cap and the fact that their head is turned to the side. This example of Jim Furyk, who unquestionably and undoubtedly is a great golfer, won a lot of money and did a lot of things extremely well. But Jim Furyk would never be considered a long hitter. If you look at his head position at the top of the swing, you'll see how there's been no rotation and no turn at all. This has limited his shoulder turn and it makes him one of the shortest hitters in history. So if you want to take advantage of this really simple tip, add yards to your drive and take years off your swing, go ahead, give this a go. Now that you know this simple tip, I'm sure you want to get out there and give this a try. Here's the picture of Jack at setup with that head turned and tilted into that preset top of the backswing position. He was famous for it and he didn't really tell anyone his secret. As I say, it's not something that's discussed a lot, but I promise you this simple trick can unlock massive benefits to your golf game. Today's video discussed who many consider to be the greatest of all time, Jack Nicholas, with 18 major wins. But if you don't agree with that, why don't you get down in the comments and let me know who your greatest golfer of all time is. If you enjoyed today's video, I would love you to hit that like button. YouTube sees that and it recommends this video to more people. So the more likes this video gets, the more people will get to see it. Today's video shows you once again how important the setup is in golf and how small changes can have big benefits to your golf game. Another thing to consider is ball position, a topic that doesn't get a lot of discussion, but go and watch this video next that I made on ball position, which I think will be the most important video on ball position you've ever watched.